Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahd in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this cool gradient button hover effect using Elementor page builder. I will show you how to do it very quickly so without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. To take a new section let's first click on this plus icon and here I'm taking this two column structure. Let's now make its height to minimum height and I'm setting its height to 100 VH. Now I want to give it a dark background color so from under the style tab I'm selecting this classic icon and let's select a dark background color. Alright now inside this left column click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging a button widget here. Now for example I wanted to say see details. I'm making its alignment to right. Now let's do some typography from under the style tab. So from here I'm making a size to 15 pixel text transform to uppercase and let's make the letter spacing 1.1 and also from under advanced tab we can add 20 pixel of margin with it. Alright now to add that cool gradient hover effect we need to add some custom CSS with this button widget. So from under its advanced tab let's now scroll down and open this custom CSS option. By the way custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through my affiliate link you don't have to pay any extra but I will get a little credit for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Alright now inside this custom CSS field we will be putting some CSS snippet so to get the snippet we can simply go to jimfahaddigital.com I will put this pages link in the description from that page if you scroll down a bit here you can see gradient button effect now from here let's just simply copy this CSS snippet from here copy it and go inside Elementor now paste the CSS code here and boom if we now hover over on this button you can see there are two gradient colors on the left and right side but don't think these all are static you can change everything like this button background color this gradient colors from left and right the buttons height and width you can control everything from this code snippet so first let's say if you want to change the background color of this button you can do that from here it says button background you can simply just remove this color and put here any other hex code for example i'm putting here just simply red color you see it becomes red now then if you want you can change its height from here so for example instead of 180 you can make it 280 pixel you can change the height from here instead of 50 i'm putting here 70 pixel I'm just showing you how you can change this but I'm going back to the default value and let's say if you also want to change these gradient colors then you can change that from here this color this is the left gradient color so here this color and the right color that is coming from this place it says right gradient here again only for giving you example if I make the left gradient to red and the right gradient to white Let's now have a look if we hover over on it you can see here on the left it's red color and on the right side it's white color. Cool. But I don't want that so I'm going back. Alright so far it looks pretty cool if you want you can keep it like this. But here I want to show you another thing like if you want to put here a shine effect I have made another snippet for that. So you can just simply go to jimfahaddigital.com. Now here underneath you can see button shine effect just copy this CSS snippet from here go inside Elementor now here on the left right under our existing CSS snippet here I'm hitting some enter to make some spaces and here I'm pasting the CSS snippet now if we have a close look here we can see a beautiful shine effect now you can just copy this button and paste anywhere of your website it will work everywhere so for example I'm just right clicking here copying it and let's now paste it inside this right column it's working perfectly but for this button we can just make it left aligned like this and all this text it shouldn't be CC tails it should be C details also this button we can write here C more it makes more sense as a button. So when you are happy with it, don't forget to click here on this green update button to save your work. 
I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. And if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.